Monster Box roll number Unlucky 13? No, Lucky 13. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. So maybe it's not Unlucky roll number 13. No. Gets us over halfway. Oh yeah, past halfway. So 13 rolls done, 12 to go. <sighs> so it's been really hard to put together rule number 13 with the holidays going on and everything else. So I was buying a lot of other silver and just a lot of galls. And you know how the holidays are. You spend a lot of money. So it was just a couple here and there from my LCS guy. And as usual, when I do that and only pick up a few at a time, I get... Random dates. A lot of random dates. And so the 20 I got here is from a combination of things to make up roll number 13 to first of all, from Silver Tanifa. This is his very first call that I won a 2009 American Silver Eagle. So it was minted here in the U.S., went to New Zealand. Came back to the U.S. And is back home again. <laughs> so thank you, Silver Tanifa. Your coin here helps make... 20, I'm going to turn it upside down. That way when it all goes in, I'll know that one's on top. Well, let's look at some of these others. This is a, a 92. It's got some tone. Yeah, I mean. Still beautiful. Yep, yeah, still a nice coin. And then we've got a 1993. I mean, I just love the fact that I just continue to get all these random dates off my LCS guy. I mean, that's the best place to go. Coles, BUs, it gets them all over. There's 2014. Bit of a nice... Looks like we got two 2016s. 20, yep, 2016s. That's just beautiful. This, this one is. So, you know, I don't care if they're coal. Most of the ones I got are not. They're usually brilliant, uncirculated. Yeah. They really shine. I don't what? think we really have any calls. We have some toned, but... None yeah. of them are wore down or anything. They are all. Some 2019s. You know, these I don't believe we got off my LCS guy. I think we got some of these in Ohio where I was charged tax, everyone. My first time charged tax. I live in Indiana where there is no tax. So I think that's when we went to the Airwright Museum. And shot that Salivation Nation tour for Silver Heist. And we decided to stop in the LCS. And I totally forgot that they were taxing in Ohio. I almost sat there and <laughs> no, I was like, no, nah, I think I'll just take my money back to Indiana. Because it, what, was about $17 tax. About an ounce of silver and tax. Because we spent almost a couple hundred dollars in that place. So Yeah, we're not going to do that again. No. No, and now these other four here, we got some 2020s. I got five of them. I put one in my dance squad album. So I've got four of the, what does Mike Muzak call it? The bookends. The bookend. The last year before they changed the heraldic eagle on these the These will be worth so much money that I'm going to have to charge. I'm going to have to charge a triple just because it's last year. Well, yeah, it's last year, but... <laughs> As many are aware, they're going to mass produce this coin. So, you know, there will be plenty to go around. Plenty, you know, it is going to be sort of weird to see 2021 American Silver Eagles come without that reverse on there. It's going to be a little different. And some changes to the other side for security reasons. So the last of my 2020s. And now that makes 16 of them there. These four I got because I ordered the last World of Dragons round from Provident Metals. And I don't know how much more ordering I'm going to do from Provident Metals. Just because, you know, these ones look pretty good. What are they? 2010s. 
But I've gotten a couple of their World of Dragons that have come milk spotted and I don't know, a couple of orders where they weren't the greatest. And I'm sort of glad that the World of Dragon series is done now because damn, I might have to order from them. I don't know why I order online anyway when my LCS guy just keeps on giving me random dates and pretty much we're focusing on eagles and some gold this year. But we do, do still buy other... Pretty pretties. That catch our eye, you bet we do. <laughs> so there's another 2010. That makes 18 of them on the table. Actually, no, there's three more I forgot to talk about in that tube there that we just got. I was going to tell Silver Britches because he... Uh, he doesn't like to tube everything and buy tubes and spend the money on them. I told him my LCS guy gives me free tubes, but I think that's purposely so that he can, uh, you know, seed me. See that one there? Look at that. A big old milk spot right there. Looks like a on finger the y. Print, maybe. Oh, no. No? The milk spotting around oh, yeah. the edges. Around right? the edges. Yeah. You know, that's from Provident. I paid for BU. I'm not going to complain about it because, you know, I don't. I'm just trying to get 500 of these loose things and tubes into a monster box and be done with it. Until oh, I, until you see the new design and have to have a monster box with it. That's true, probably. No, that is very true. <laughs> I know it's true. And here's, here's the fourth of the 2010s. And again, a little bit around that same area as the last coin. Hmm. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Another ounce of silver. And then, that would make actually 17. The other three I got from my LCS guy. And he's like, let me put them in a tube for you. And he likes to do that because now he knows that I'm going to have another tube laying around that has no eagles in it. I think it might actually bother me if I just had one in it, though. I'd rather be at the zero mark. <laughs> what do we got here? 2015. Now, like, like many know, whenever I go to my LCS guy, such a random amount of dates that I get. It's it's great. That's why I like going there. That and he doesn't what he's that one day what spot was at eighteen dollars and he said he'll give it to me for eighteen seventy a piece. Seventy cents over spot. All right there, that's a ninety eight. So this is great when we And threw in a tube because he knew you needed three to fill your last tube and then you'd have an empty tube. Mm-hmm. Okay. That would bother me. Uh, nice, 1992. Yeah, so another tube of eagles for me, which those other 12 in the back has some very random dates in it. That tube is not going to be any different from those. So let's get them into the box. Into that monster box they go. Winning image photography is going to do us the honors this time for number one. Roll number two. Having some problems. It's a tight fit. It's a very tight fit. <laughs> well, that's going to be fun to open up again. You want me to Did you get it? Well, you finally got it. That'll take an hour for that lid to come off. There's roll number three. Roll number four. Roll number five. Roll number six. You want to hear that train out there? Yeah, we're in uh, Studio G. We call Studio G our garage. So, nice train in the background. That was roll number seven as she works on roll number eight. There we go. Roll number nine. Some help there. Wow, that train just keeps getting louder. <laughs> it is celebrating roll number 13 coming up here soon. That was what, roll number 10? There's roll number 11. Roll number 12. And here it is with silver tanifuzz. One on the top will sit right in the middle middle as our roll number lucky 13 past halfway gang it's been a hole so far but it's been fun we've given ourselves to the end of 2020 to complete this box so 12 more rolls 
We're one month behind. Eh, we're a little bit behind, but I think we'll get caught up. Well, there you go, everyone. It's been a while since I've had a monster box update. We're still doing it. Finally got past halfway. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.